This video is about the advanced styling of Markdown embeds. So first of all, I want to show you that in settings, I've added an additional setting, and that is right here, CSS file. So you can now specify a CSS file that is going to be used for styling. This CSS file can be a normal markdown document or it can be a CSS document. Bottom line is it has to contain valid CSS code. And here in this case, I created this file called markdown CSS and I placed it in my fonts library. And that is the file that I'm referencing right here. So you can see this is the markdowncss.md. And within my markdowncss.md, I have uh, this styling. By the way, here's a trick that you can apply. You can see that I've placed in comments the top of the code block. And with this, I get syntax highlighting in the editor. So that's just a small trick. What you can see here is my styling for this document. And you can see a couple of things. So first of all, the entire document is hosted in an element with the class Excolidra MD host. And you can use this to do a couple of things. For now, I added some padding around the document, but we'll see later what else you can do. Then you have the normal HTML components and you can add your styling. For example, I did a bit of styling around the table as well as I added styling so the anchors are underlined. Now, this is great. And if you do this setup, then this is going to apply to all of your markdown files. I also added an option that there's a new front matter key called Excolidraw CSS, which can contain uh, two types of values. If it contains a valid CSS snippet, like in this case, I'm setting the background color of my host element white smoke. And if I now click here, then you can see that the updated element now has the white smoke color. Well, if I turn to the light mode, then you can see that that's a very light color in the background. I can also add a file name here. So I'm going to call this file override CSS. And this override CSS is also in my Walt. Uh, I'll show you in a second. If I use this and I click here, then you can see that there's a couple of things have changed because in my override CSS, I added a border around the markdown MD host as well as I did some styling for the table. And in this case, I can show you. So this is how the override CSS looks like it is actually the same CSS or a very similar CSS to the previous one, but has a bit of additional settings here. So that is how the CSS works. Now, if you're wondering what are the elements and classes, uh, then you can come to the developer console and you need to initiate Excolidraw Automate. Let me just zoom in here so you can see this uh, slightly better. And on Excolidraw Automate, I'm always saving the most recent markdown SVG as a variable. So you can come here and you can actually check out how that SVG looks like. So first of all, you can see here my CSS styling at the top, as well as if I open the foreign object, you can see my hosting element with the Excolidro MD host class, as well as if I open this up, then you can see the rendered HTML version of the markdown document and this can give you a bit of uh, background information on how to edit your style sheet. So that's all I wanted to show you. I think this is a great new feature and this is going to give you plenty of flexibility to uh, customize your 
views in XCollidraw. Thank you.